Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be going over how I stopped biting my fingernails in 30 days. But first, let's take a look at how bad it has been. Here is a photo from June 2019 at probably the worst point it's been in recent memory. You can see visible signs of me biting not only my nails, but also my fingers. In the past, I've tried lots of different methods to stop myself from biting. From bad tasting coatings, from using affirmations, trying to replace the habit with something else, visualizing what I wanted, using band-aids to stop myself from biting, an expensive hypnotherapy session, wearing gloves, and much more. However, nothing has really worked for me in the past. I thought I would go over very basically how habits are formed and methods to stop or change habits for the better. I'll be using my nail biting habit for a few of the examples, but you can apply this to anything you wish to stop or take control of. Put really simply, negative habits such as smoking, drinking, overeating, and nail biting can be formed as a coping mechanism brought about as a result of your life's circumstances. When something happens which causes stress, boredom, anxiety, disorder, uneasiness, or worry, as a way for us to deal with those feelings, we develop certain behavioral cues or habits. Now these habits work as a way to reduce those feelings and bring us back to a better state. Over time, this action is associated with helping us to calm down, and with enough association and time, this develops into a habit. To break these habits or behavioral patterns, it requires some effort. The reason habits are so difficult to break is because we have been using these coping mechanisms for years, and sometimes for 10, 20, 30, or even 40 plus years. Just deciding that you will stop takes more than just a simple thought. It can require a number of steps. This can include replacing that habit with another better habit, minimizing or removing circumstances that set off or trigger the habit, interrupting the pattern, visualizing yourself succeeding, dealing with possible failure, and being held accountable. I have previously tried a range of methods to stop biting, and whilst each of these methods have worked for one or two weeks at a time, I eventually lose that momentum and the habit returns as normal. For this challenge, I'll be sticking to a plan for 30 days to stop biting my nails. I'll be using a number of methods simultaneously, as well as writing a day-by-day -day blog post of my progress. Each morning, and whenever I notice myself first biting, I'll read over my affirmation and visualize what I'd like my fingers to look like. My affirmation for this challenge was, I have incredible nails and smooth, soft fingers. A few days before I started, I went to the chemist and got a couple of supplies. On the left, you can see that's a Revita nail, that's the bad tasting coating. I also got some hand sanitizer with added moisturizer, just for when I notice myself biting. I also bought a cuticle remover, just to remove some of the dry skin around my fingers. I also got some band-aids as a preventative measure. Now for a Revita nail, all you have to do is put it on like a nail polish coat. You just rub it over the areas that you would bite normally, and trust me, if you do touch this area with your mouth or your tongue, you'll instantly notice the super bitter taste, and this really helps to stop. I also used a coating to help repair my skin and nails. One of the best things I've been using is Vaseline gel, and this really helps to stop the fingers becoming dry. And then just put a small amount on each of the areas which I do bite, and then it lasts for the whole day and just reapply. I also used a more general purpose moisturizer for the cases when I'm not at work and don't have access to the Vaseline gel. In those cases where I notice myself biting and the gel and moisturizer isn't working, the next step would be to put band-aids on. And this really helps just completely stop any sort of biting. As a way to replace the habit with a different habit, this time I used mints or chewing gum, whichever I had on hand. So here we are, day one, 1st of January, 2020. And you can see visible signs of me biting and the skin is quite dry around the areas really need to make sure I work hard on keeping the methods up to make sure I don't accidentally bite. Now you can see that it's nowhere close as bad as it was in June 2019. And that's because I've tried different methods and some, like I said, work for a week at a time or two weeks. But leading up to 2020, I was trying hard to stop as I normally would. At day five, you can visibly see that my fingers are getting better and I haven't got so much redness around my fingernails. I stuck to my plan using all the methods I've mentioned and there wasn't a single case of biting. Day 10 and it's looking really good. You may notice that I've actually got nails now. Super happy with how it's going. I've been sticking really well to what I planned out. I also don't feel the pain around my knuckles as I did with day one. Because I've been recording a day-by-day -day blog, this has actually really helped with being accountable to the challenge and making sure this challenge stays at the front of my mind. Day 15, and it's getting even better. My nails are getting longer, and it was probably about that time that I cut my nails with nail clippers. And it's always a strange feeling to use nail clippers, as it's kind of that first case of knowing that I'm definitely succeeding and everything is going well. At day 20, 
I no longer have any areas that hurt because of my biting. My skin has healed up really well and I'm always surprised at how fast my fingers bounce back from the years of biting. At day 25, my fingers and nails are looking amazing. We were out camping and I couldn't help but to keep glancing down at my hands and nails and nosing how good they look. Super happy about my progress at this stage. My urge to bite my nails is pretty much gone and I haven't had to use some of the methods that I started with like the affirmations. Here we are at day 30 of not biting my fingernails. You can see that my skin has fully recovered and there's no longer any areas where there's dry skin or areas where you can see that I was biting. I no longer feel that urge to bite my fingernails when a stressful situation comes around. Looking at day one and day 30, there is a really big change that you can see. I have incredible nails and my fingers are smooth and soft. As you can see from day one, I was usually pretty self-conscious whenever I was doing something with my hands close by to someone and they'd be able to notice. Now that thought doesn't even come into my mind anymore just because I know they look physically better and I feel happier about it. I successfully finished this 30 day challenge and didn't bite my fingernails or fingers. I just need to keep up the momentum and make sure that whenever I notice myself biting subconsciously, I follow the methods that worked for me and keep it going. Apart from the general methods to stop biting, I'd say that the most important for me this time around was documenting my progress every day. I definitely recommend giving this method a go, either on social media, keeping a journal, or by meeting up with someone you know and talking to them about it. If you'd like to read my day-to-day -day posts about how this all went and my progress, you can read it on my website, Nathan Challenges Life. Let me know in the comments below whether this video helped you and share it with anyone you think could help. If you want to keep up to date with where I'm up to with other challenges and what I'm doing in the meantime, then like this video, subscribe and challenge your life. See you next time.